All right, welcome back, fans, to Edor Nelson Field. We're at halftime, folks, and uh, it's two to one, Minneapolis City versus the Sioux Falls Thunder. And uh, Adam, or sorry, two to zero. Getting a little ahead of myself yeah. there, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Am I, for, am I, am I it's looking? It's a bad into, omen. Am I looking into the future? Am I jinxing us? Um, you can tell that I don't necessarily do uh, the heavy lifting on this show with Eric Nordquist out, but we're joined today in the booth uh, by Mr. Adam Bells. Adam, Adam is from uh, Scuffed. If, uh, if you're in the Twitter sphere and you're interested in U.S. national team soccer current players and players of the future, uh, that's what Adam, Adam dives into on his podcast. Wildly successful, has great interviews. I would uh, suggest you, uh, you check that out. Where can they find you? Uh, Twitter at Zleb Mata, Z L E B M A D A, and then if you just look up Scuff Podcast on iTunes or Stitcher or Spotify or any place where you get podcasts. All right, there. perfect. Check it out, folks. But as far as uh, lower down on the tier of the soccer landscape, we're, we're not talking about uh, international soccer today. We're talking about MPSL action on a Friday night here in Minneapolis, where, like I said, you see the Crows at 2-0, to zero, not 2-1. to one. Uh, We talked well about it. <laughs> thank you. I, I try. I really try. We talk about, talked about a few keys to victory. Number one, not falling into the trap and, and starting out fast. How did we do? Did great. Did great on that. Uh, came out the first 10 minutes and uh, put the foot on the neck of Sioux Falls Thunder and then got a goal pretty early. I can't remember exactly what minute it was, but it was pretty early in the game. Absolutely, and it was a great individual effort on the defensive side and, and really providing that pressure from a, from a forward perspective by Tim Wills. It was to, a result of the press. Right, a result of the press. which gets, gets us into our second point, which was a key to victory, was keeping our shape. We talked about it from an offensive perspective. That's what led to the first goal. And from a defensive perspective, by and large, with the, the lion's share of the attack for Sioux Falls coming through the long ball, I felt that the city defense stayed organized, stayed compact, and outside of a few brief bits of, of danger, were, were by and large uh, stronger than the Sioux Falls attack. I thought so, too. The, the shape was fine. The shape was just fine. There were a couple times where the right wing or the left wing got a little joy going up the side, but that wasn't because, because of dramatic disorganization in the Minneapolis city defense. Sure. Sure. So the other thing we talked about was maxing out on points. Being at a shutout at halftime, being two goals to the good, you'd, you'd like to say that we're well on our way towards maybe that third point. But there were a few key areas, Adam, where Minneapolis City fell down a bit. And one of them was the movement in the attack. Absolutely. The, the front three were static. There were times where uh, Plaza or Charlie Adams would get on the ball and there'd be, there'd be no options for him, no one moving anywhere let alone that second or third run that you're looking for to, to really break down an opponent. Absolutely. Well, we well, let me just say, in the, so, like, so after the first goal, I think Minneapolis City did step off the gas a little bit, and things slowed down, and the game started to really slog a bit. There weren't, mm -hmm. there weren't a lot of opportunities. It, was, it wasn't that Sioux Falls was getting a bunch of opportunities either, but Minneapolis City wasn't getting opportunities, and... That, that sort of goes back to the first point, which don't fall into the trap. They didn't fall into the trap initially. Then after, the, after they scored, Slowly they sort of it. did backpedal a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Sponsors are what keep us going. Summit Brewing Company, check out all their beer offerings. It's one of my favorite uh, craft breweries in the country. Ride with two eyes. Check out the Ride app, much like your, your uh, Lyft or Uber competitive pricing if you need to get to places and you're not necessarily driving that day or that night. Twin City Orthopedics providing us excellent uh, athletic training care for not only our players but our opposition when they come in. And Palmer's Bar. Head on down to the West Bank Palmer's Bar. Show your game ticket. Get a discount on a Summit beer on tap. Or if you're a season ticket holder, you get it all year round. Best of both worlds. But we're, we're right about to, uh, to get into second half action here. The teams have taken the field and uh, Potentially some more goals in the second half, Adam. Let's hope. All right. Thank you. <laughs> 